Hello, Barmy Badger Army. I hope you're well, guys. Indeed, welcome to the show in this lovely prelude to Easter. Isn't it lovely, Nick, today? Yes, it is. Indeed, and today we are going to be talking about pot noodle, and we're also going to be doing a taste test of one of the new pot noodles out, which is going to be pretty cool, called Kirimi Carbonara, which is going to be great. And that's part of the new pot noodle range, and it is pot pasta, which is going to be pretty cool. So Nick, what are your feelings on pot noodle? Have you ever tried it before? I think I have once upon a time. I think I remember some of my friends complaining how it tasted plasticky. <laughs> pot noodle has sort of been around since the dawn of time. It, was one it of has. It was one of those things that I remember being advertised on TV when I was a kid. Yes. Because I think it was Golden Wonder that made them. That's right. It used to be Golden Wonder that made yeah. them. That's and right. And they were like really famous for making crisps. That's right. And it seemed a bit of a random thing that they would make then pot pasta. I think it's been bought out since. I don't think it's by Golden Wonder anymore. Yeah. But they are pretty cool, yes. So today, I always used to like the um, chicken and mushroom flavour because it was the one that wasn't exactly bland but was quite tasty and it was doable rather than some of them were a bit too spicy. You know, it had too much flavouring, whereas the chicken and mushroom one had just the right amount of taste. They kind of seem pretty to, good. They kind of like overcompensate for things like spice and things like That's that. That's right, like, yes. Oh, we've got a very small small space in here. We can't fit as much pasta in as we want, so... Yeah, that's so, right, yeah. Spicy powder! That's right, that's exactly what happens. And of course, nine times out of ten, even though it says beef or things like that, most of them are vegetarian. So that's a bit of an interesting fact for you. So if you are looking for a quick snack, some of them are actually vegan or vegetarian, even though they say beef. So that's a bit of a heads up. Right, so Nick, let's get on with the taste test part of today's show. We're going to try pot pasta, creamy carbonara. Thank you. Do you want to go first? Yes, please. Indeed, you right. try first. Let's hope this isn't... Uh... Let's hope this has cooled down a bit in the distance that we walked over to get here. Indeed, yes. Yeah, we're also running, we're also, we're also, this isn't going to be obvious, but we're actually running really low on time. So this is yeah, how much we, we appreciate you guys. so much trouble. Oh no, we're not, we're fine. Very nice, one random hard bit in there. Okay, so basically. That's the, that's the trouble with this. There's always like one hard bit, which doesn't sort of like, can't, which doesn't like um, soften. Soften up, yes, yeah, so I know where you're coming much, from. No matter how that. much boiling water you put in it. That's right, there is always that case, isn't it? It's like when you try to microwave a jacket potato in the oven, or uh, in the microwave and stuff. It never really works 100%. But yeah, there's always that one little bit. Even when I do the noodles and the pasta at times, there's always that one little bit that never quite gets the sauce or never quite cooks properly. Oh dear. But anyway, okay, I'll try it next, Nicholas. Right, let's have a look. Let's right, this is me so. positioning it, so... Here we go. Yeah, so what did you think, Nick, out of ten so far? Seven. Mmm. Nice taste, it's just a shame about not like the harder bits. You know that's really nice. In fact, this is probably the best pot noodle I've ever tasted. Really tasty. Bold statement. Indeed, yeah. If anyone from Pot Noodle is watching this, we're available for sponsorships. Most definitely, you know, yes. We're basically <laughs> turning into a big pot noodle advert here. <laughs> They're not even paying us the bloomin' cheek. <gasps> not yet, anyway. Right, this is it, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah, so like you say, there's the occasional bit in there that's a bit too hard, but the rest of it is pretty good. I would say a good, healthy 7 out of 10. What about you, Nick? Yes? I'm in total agreement. Mm. So let us know your thoughts on pot noodle or pot pasta if you haven't tried it before yet and let us know in the comments below if you would try this or what your favorite pot noodle is the advantage with pot pasta over pot noodle is where every where all the noodles are like really long yeah put your spoon in by the time you're taking your spoon out it's like all fallen out this is very true and you get all the sauce and stuff so at least with this there is actually like a um sort of a congealed -y sort of sauce try again some more yeah and the good thing is you can take it out and look, it's not all falling down. That's pretty good when you think of it then. I like that idea. Indeed, so this is pretty good. Mm. So this is the mukbang section of the show where we are just going to literally finish the pot noodle. If any, of, if, any, if any like pot noodles competitors are listening, we are more than happy to, ha happy mm. to, we are more than open to other brands as well. <laughs> 
That's so, right. You know, get in, just get in touch with the Badger Show. <laughs> and let us try your products. This is every very week, true. We're here every week doing this, you know, and <laughs> and yeah, we're open, we're open to most stuff. Mm. We're open to anything that's actual food. So let us you know, know if you would like to see more taste tests on the show. And that's pretty good. So how is everyone? A big shout out to every one of our sponsors as well. Thank you very much, everyone. You make events like this totally possible. So it's always good. And um, like you were saying, what we'll be doing very soon is there'll be more Skyrim on the show, more Fallout, uh, more community vlogs, and we'll be finishing up Outlast. What about you, Nick? What are your plans at the minute? Um, you can catch me tonight on Phoenix FM at 8 p.m. Um, I'll be with uh, my regular two-hour show, Curveballs. Mm. Look up the web series How We Met on YouTube. It's That's uh, right. by a company called Silver Plate Creative. Okay. And they're into episode three of their web series now, and it features a cameo from yours truly. Oh. And also, don't forget about your show, Fun. What is it? Um, Warehouse of Fun. Warehouse of Fun. All That's right. All three episodes now available to watch online. So look up Warehouse of Fun on YouTube. Very cool. Yes, definitely. And that. I'm available. And uh, I'm available for voiceovers, bits Indeed. of acting, presenting. If you go over to my to uh, my YouTube channel, Lash Out Here, yes, uh, that's right. You will see both my acting show reel and my presenter show reel Very as well. Very cool. So okay. yes, and a recent live session I had in on uh, my Phoenix FM show by the Mighty Fallen. Uh, very which cool. Very good. Very which is, nice. Uh, very good. Great to have them in. I've got another band coming in next week called mm. Mr. Happy Chainsaw. Very cool. Very you've been, you've had them on the show before, haven't you? Um, we had to postpone it from last oh, month because okay. of the snow. Oh, so right. We're gonna, so, yeah, so we're going to have them in uh, this time. Very cool. I look forward to watching that. And, of course, also, if you'd like to watch the video or, I should say, audio recording of myself, it's up on the Phoenix FM website. Yeah? Yes, indeed. For last, last week's interview um, is now up on the Phoenix FM website. So, if you go, go on to phoenixfm.com and click anywhere it says Curveballs. Yes, that's right. Then uh, you'll be able to see all the recent shows and listen back to them all, including last week's show. When I was when I was joined by him. Indeed. Thank you very much, Nick. Right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the taste test. Bye for now, Barmy Badger Army. We'll see you later on. Bye, guys. Start off now, people, and eat your greens. Make sure you eat your greens and, and let if, us know. And if they're part of a pot noodle, so much the butter. Indeed. And let us know your thoughts on pot noodle or pot pasta in the comments below. Bye, everyone. Ta-ta.